This is a film about a day trip. A day trip that begins here, on the cobblestone shoreline of Portland, Maine, and zigzags across scenic New England, kept afloat from start to finish by three simple goals. Goal one, ski as much as possible. Goal two, see as much as possible. Goal three, get home before bedtime. The captain of this day trip, that'd be me, Connor. I'm a writer, a dad, a skier. Pleased to meet you. This Subaru sets sail at 4 a.m. sharp toward the hills of New Hampshire. Welcome to Day Tripper. Our day begins like any day should, in a parking lot in the middle of nowhere with a coffee in one hand and a donut in the other. But I'm not chomping all these things by myself. And that's why Adam is here. A teleskiing, van-dwelling, life-loving legend with a trademark saying everyone needs to hear. If you're bored, you're boring. Cheers to that, Adam. Have a donut. And look, here's Andrew. He's a beloved local in these New Hampshire woods. The owner of the best ski shop in town, one heck of a skier, and a fellow donut guy. All right, enough of that. Let's get moving up our first objective, the Doublehead Ski Trail. This trail is a true New England gem. It's 15 feet wide, 1,500 vertical feet high, and due to treacherous winds last night, it's completely covered in pine needles. The snow, well, it's firm, real firm. But the sun is out, the crew is moving, and the view ain't bad. We'll see you at the bottom. Stop number two, Wildcat Mountain. This is one of the finest ski areas in the east. It's brimming with history. It's packed with playful terrain. And it's closed. The same winds that hit Doublehead did a number on this place too. Trails are too icy to even run the lifts. But not to worry, the road is beckoning our names. Here we are. Destination number three, Black Mountain. This place rules, and two pals are eagerly waiting in the parking lot. A ripping young gun named Zach, and a badass ski industry vet named Justin. Black Mountain's great for a whole lot of reasons, but what really makes this place special is the ability to ski its backside, legally. So that's exactly what we do, leaving just enough time for some turns on the front side. Next stop, last chair. Welcome to stop number four, under the lights, Shawnee Peak. No one here tonight is a pro skier. No one here is wishing they were somewhere else. And most importantly, no one here is taking themselves seriously. What you're looking at is just a bunch of people, people of all ages, of all abilities, just skiing a small and charming mountain in Maine on a Saturday night, simply for the fun of it. And that's how it is on the East Coast. We show up to ski with no strings attached. We wake up at 4 a.m., eat donuts in cold parking lots, ski on pine needles, go to mountains that aren't even open, 
and scramble to get last chair. We cram as much as we possibly can into our day. Then we do it all over again, one day trip at a time. <laughs>